Welcome to your entertainment ticket. I am Al McGee. Did you just leave the store? Are you planning to go, on a, go to the store? Did you just buy something and then you took it out of the package and you threw it in the garbage? Well, you know, this is really the story of WALL-E, the Pixar production. This is a great computer animated movie with a great story. But it does focus on garbage. Because Wally, you know, he's a waste allocation load lifter, Earth class, and he's been left on Earth to load up the trash. He's been on this planet for 700 years because the humans left, because there was so much garbage, so much pollution that we caused, that we had to leave. The humans had to leave. And again, there was a corporation behind everything to protect and sell everything to us humans. Now, while he is on the planet all by himself, he repairs himself, he watches Hello Dolly, and, you know, and he has a personality. But how come he's not watching this, say, Scarface or Superfly? Maybe he didn't find those type of videotapes, and maybe the only one he found was Hello Dolly. They never explained that. Also, they never explained how did he develop and personality. I'm thinking Terminator 1, 2, and 3. But anyway, he's there all along, except with a cockroach, a resilient cockroach. Ooh. You know, I kind of like that cockroach, too. Self-sufficient. He can survive. I mean, think of all that trash there. There should have been more cockroaches there, though. But anyway, um, while he's on this planet, all of a sudden, Eve comes down on the planet looking for evidence for the humans to come back to Earth. Wally fantasizes about her, falls in love with her, wants to touch her, wants to be with her, and they find some way to communicate. And eventually, Wally hijacks around her rocket back to the spaceship where the humans are living. Now, the humans have been living in this spaceship for over 700 years. It was only supposed to be for maybe 50 years or less, but they've been there for 700 years and they got fat. They're so fat, they don't walk. They own these type of machines that where they float. Also, there's no human uh, personal communication. They communicate through these video screens to each other. They don't touch each other. They don't even talk to each other. They don't do any type of exercise. That They're so fat that uh, because they've been in space, they lost a lot of bone density. They don't even wear shoes. They don't exercise. And all their food is liquid form where they suck it through a straw. Come on. Would you like to live a life like that? Okay, some of us, we are living a life like that already. But anyway, <laughs> Eve and Wally gets on the planet, and somehow the corporation do not want them to show the humans the evidence. But you know who I kept rooting for? The fat-ass human. That's right. I kept rooting, get off your fat ass and do something. And the human spirit prevailed, and they did. And they finally went back to Earth, and they were successful in replenishing the Earth. Now, we already have Wallies in our society. Watch this. See that Wally? That's right, we already have them. And when we empty our trash, do we really worry about where it's going? 
do we really worry about this going into the ocean, polluting our water? Do we really worry about this land, these landfills and the scent and everything that's coming from these landfills and the poison is coming? Do we really worry about that? Nah, I guess not because we're going to have Wally's clean it up and we're going to go to other planets. And we look, you know, we got a spaceship on Mars right now. We got a, a space station. We don't know what they're doing up there. So maybe we, we don't have to worry about it. But one thing I'd like for you to worry about is go see Wally. I watched this with an audience, and in the beginning, you know, there's really any dialogue, and some of the kids in there really got a little restless and a little bored. But once they got on a spaceship, everyone lifted up, and this became, became a great adventure. It's not as good as The Incredibles. It's a great film to watch. But again, look at the deep meaning of this movie. Now, I watched this with an audience, and in the beginning, you know, there's really any dialogue. And some of the kids in there really got a little restless and a little bored. But once they got on a spaceship, everyone lifted up and this came, became a great adventure. It's not as good as The Incredibles and it's not as good as Cars. And, and I really didn't root for Wally or E like I did for the mouse Ratatouille. But man, go see it. You're going to enjoy it. It's only an hour and 43 minutes long. But they're going to make millions of dollars with this film. And they're going to do another one. But then too, that's another corporation, right? I'm Al McGee. Thanks for watching Your Entertainment Ticket. And log on to Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yourentertainmentticket.com. Have a great day. Oh, yeah, and watch where you put that trash. I'm not talking about your mother-in-law.